Me and my older brother, we went to East Berlin. They have nightclubs that stay open 24 hours. We go in and get in line, and we see four other Americans in line, and they have sweaters tied around their necks. And we're like, if these guys are here, who is protecting Connecticut? <laughs> my brother looks in the front, and we see a drug dog in the front of the line. And he goes, oh, no, I have ecstasy in my butt. Do you think they'll find it? <laughs> and I go, that's where a dog sniffs first. <laughs> He goes, you're right. He takes the ecstasy. Yeah. An hour later, we get to the front of the line. We find out just a regular dog. <laughs> the door guy, he's like a skinny fashionista, and he can see my brother's dancing with no music. So he's like, Ja, come in, Ja. <laughs> and then he sees me, and he stops me. He goes, not kinky enough. You need more leather. Bye. <laughs> I go, dude, that's my brother, and you're not going to let me in? He goes, honey, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. If you go into this club and try to use the bathroom, somebody will try to pee in your mouth. <laughs> I know. So I had to get in. <laughs> I ended up sneaking my way into the club. Now, what I didn't know is in East Berlin nightclubs, you're legally allowed to have sex. I walk into run one room. This guy's reverse script masturbating. I don't know why he's doing it like this, and I don't know why I can't look away. <laughs> It looked like a snake eating its tail. <laughs> this guy standing next to me, he goes, that's my friend. He's from West Berlin. I go, they should have kept the wall up. <laughs> then I look over, I see my brother making out with two girls. He comes over to me. I'm like, how are you doing that? He hands me a business card that says Dr. Joey Briggs. I was like, you're not a doctor. He goes, I know, but by the time they figure out it's too late, <laughs> I've already operated. <laughs> He goes, here, you try. I'm like, I don't need that. I can go ahead and just talk to her, girl. I got to talk to this girl. She denies me before I even say anything. She's like, uh-uh, no. Bang, bang. And I try to change the subject. I was like, no, I was just going to ask you what time it is. She goes, it's time for you to turn around and walk away. <laughs> I'm standing there like an idiot. She's like, is your name T-Mobile? I go, no, why? And she goes, because you are not getting the signal. It's time for you to walk away. <laughs> I was like, this club is not for me. So I go outside. This other girl comes up to me. She goes, hey, you want to have a good time? I go, what do you mean? She goes, $5,000. I was like, if you want to walk to my hotel, after three miles, she's like, how much further? <laughs> like, I didn't pay her 5K, but I made her walk one. <laughs> I get back to the hotel room. Uh, I, I fall asleep. I'm by myself. Four o'clock in the morning, my brother burst down. He's like, Stephen, get in the closet, get in the closet. I'm naked. I run in the closet. I'm like, what the hell is going on? He comes back with these two girls. He starts making out with them. I'm like, oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> so I go to stand up with my knees at night, sound like a roller coaster. Just like. <laughs> and one of the girls is like, oh, what was that? And he goes, oh, it's just my brother. Here, I'll show you. He brings him to the closet, opens the door. I didn't know what to do. I grabbed a pillowcase, wrapped around my mouth, and was like. <laughs> Run. He's going to kill you! <laughs> they ran the hell out of there. I just turned my brother and I was like, looks like somebody's not operating tonight. 